welcome your beautiful faces to our reaction for the day of community we are excited i am excited hopefully you guys are too if you guys are excited do me a favor like subscribe and share we are loving the show here on the channel this is one of my favorite shows and i'm excited to continue today with you guys and to continue the rest of the week with reactions and i'm excited i have a lot on the a lot on the schedule um also we're trying new uh lobby music so comment below if it's okay if it's not do me a favor um and also quick little thing stick around for the end of the video for the member of the month shout out or week i'm not sure what i'm doing but it might be week who knows but uh yeah also thank you members shout out for you guys for sponsoring today's video and every other video that we have here on the channel you're amazing could not do without you but without further ado let's roll the bumper unpaid rental unpaid rental unpaid rental that you might hearken the story of fat neil the story of fat neil okay his adolescent years were shadowed by scorn and mockery what is why are we talking about fat neil him some escape from the darkness throughout high school Ooh, watchman that's a good one he traveled far to a new school and a new beginning what is this game of thrones sequence what is happening fat neil became a joke uh, yes fat neil. this is an interesting episode it was strangely jeff the liar son of william the barely known who first became concerned why is jeff concerned about fat neil who pretended to be interested in dungeons and dragons in an effort to lift neil's spirits okay that's nice interest resulted in neil giving jeff all his books explaining he wouldn't need them anymore what's wrong what happened it was Annie, the day planner, herself a recovering head case, that recognized the signs of coming doom. A council was called. Troy, the obtuse. Shirley, <laughs> this is interesting. This is really cool. For reasons that should be obvious, Pierce the insensitive, known also as Pierce the dickish, and Grandpa the Pierce the dickish. Was not okay. Invited. Okay, Pierce is in this episode. Interesting. Most was to feel like a winner for a change. They would invite okay. Neil that Saturday to a game of Dungeons and Dragons designed by Obed to help Neil reclaim his confidence. Okay, that's really nice of them. That's really cool. Realized that Chang had been there and felt too awkward to mention it. Okay, all right. They had just scheduled the most important game of Dungeons and Dragons ever. This is really interesting because I recently just got interested in Dungeons and Dragons. Like I'm starting to uh I'm starting to think about wanting this is a nice intro. This is cool. I like this. Alright, yeah, but yeah, like I was saying, I'm just now starting to get into Dungeons and Dragons. Like I watched um Deborah Ann Wool podcast about her doing Dungeons and Dragons. It's uh I'm I haven't played it. Like I said, I'm interested and I'm 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 getting into it. Uh, one of my commenters, uh, I believe they said they were making a uh, horror um, Dungeons and Dragons game. So that sounds pretty cool to me. Or not game, but campaign. Oh my god! So we Holy just shit! Crime, huh? I'm a dark yeah. Or a drow. Shouldn't you be wearing armor or something? <laughs> I'm an elf, not a nerd. Jesus fucking Christ, why is he that black? <laughs> why wouldn't we? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's yeah, cool. Yeah. And we I don't... I see why this show was banned. Or not show, but episode. I am your dungeon master. We will be playing this adventure. The okay. Cavern of Draconis. So, I made these for you guys. Now take your time. Okay. Choose your character carefully. They each have their own unique combination of strengths. And... Right. Damn, guys. Be a board or some pieces or something to Jenga? No, no. This is a no, no. It takes place entirely in our collective imagination. Ooh, yeah, Neil. yeah. I... <laughs> Neil. <laughs> Let's begin. You were all standing on a country road. Legend okay. has that the evil dragon Draconis dwells nearby, guarding a massive pile of treasure. Your goal is to track down the dragon, kill him, and then claim the treasure as your own. Jeff, your turn. Okay. You tell me what you want to do, then I roll the dice to see if you're successful. But you didn't... What are my choices? Okay, you're slowing things down, Jeff. Shirley, what do you want to do? <laughs> you're slowing things down. I am a dwarf named Zippity-Doo. Okay, I'm not the best <laughs> at making up names. Oh. <laughs> my name is Bing Bong the Archer. I'm an archer and such. I'm... Hector the well endowed. I'll bet you guys went at random. I yeah, Troy mind. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, Check it. 
Yeah, all right, Chang. I am Brutality Jobs. Nice. Mission. Okay. Magic user, baby. What? <laughs> They're almost hitting the top. Six goblins are running towards you from the tree line, drawing daggers. Oh, oh shit. I oh, I love the sound effects. This is really cool. Additional notes. It has no effect. Britta. I want to know why these goblins are attacking us. Maybe these woods are their rightful land, and from their perspective, oh. God, Britta, stop. AT&T of people. <laughs> shot my arrow. Ow! Yeah, that hurts. Jeff. Uh, yeah, that hurts. Knife. Throw it. Knife style. You do ten points of damage. Look at that. Nice. What am I not good at? Sex. <laughs> but the goblins close. Okay. <laughs> I draw my plus three sword of Duquesne and attack in a 180 degree arc. The goblins are terrified. Nice. Duquesne draws his powerful glowing sword from its sheath and in one move slices the throats of three charging goblins. <laughs> okay, cool. Good shit. Great job with the sword, Neil. You yeah. What would we have done if you didn't exist? Huh? I look back to where I go. Yeah, come on. What is what's oh shit. Why is Pierce here? Pierce. What are you This doing? is bad. How about you answer that question? We're playing Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. First man. of all, gay. <laughs> Stupid. Okay. Thirdly, well. you remember to invite Al Jolson here. And you remember to let Fatty sit in my chair. Hey man, if you don't stop. You're stretching it. Pierce, can we talk to you outside? You need to not be mean. Let's just play, all right? I don't have a character for you. I don't care. I just want to play the game. I don't need a character. I think yeah, you, you do. do. That's the point of the game. As you watch the goblins retreat, you notice a 67-year-old naked man with no weapons lying in the wet grass shivering. His name is... Pierce Hawthorne, and I'm 66, dick. D Jesus, he is angry this episode. Screw you guys. I'm going to win. I go to the naked man, and I give him my cloak. Oh. Pierce, oh, that's nice. Pain. Of Clan Duquesne. Dumb name. I'm gonna take a sword. Can I take a sword? You've got a sword. <gasps> Pierce, no Why would you do that? Okay, I take the Duquesne sword from the naked man. I attack him! I attack Blackface! No, I attack Blackface. You've Pierce is ruining the game! Is dead. What? No! No! Chang. <laughs> Come on, man. Why so early? Fucking Pierce ruins everything. God damn it. This is just like Lord of the Rings. It's just like it. <laughs> and he fades. Fades into the shadow land. I run. What? Why would you, you run? run? The naked man is running into the woods. He has my sword. Can we catch him, please? Well, the cloak that Duquesne gave him was an elven cloak of wind walking, which is double speed, so. No, he's gone. Damn it! It took Fuck. 10 years and 50 campaigns to get that sword. Really? Maybe I'll wipe my ass with it and throw it off a cliff. Jesus, dude. Just sitting in my chair, fatty. Stop being mean. Pissing me off. They're about to Piss. tear his ass you up. You made your point. You can ruin anything. Now come back and give Neil his sword. I can't hear you over the sound of me rubbing his sword on my balls. Oh, oh my God, man. I hate him. Successfully rubbed your balls on the sword. Oh, that, don't help him. You're the dungeon master. Just kill Pierce and give Neil back his sword. He's upset. I'm the dungeon master. I have to be impartial or the game has no meaning. Can you just give Neil That's true. That is true. He does. Kind of was forged by my ancestors. I hump it. I hump it. Hey, that kid in there. I say we kill Pierce. Depressed. Oh, yeah. Is that what he told you? From the looks of it, he's been using that line since he was five years old to get an extra slice Gee. of pie. What the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, I'm man. I'm being excluded, Jeff. Do you? Yes. <laughs> Tell him you're giving him his sword or you are out of the study group. Huh? Oh, damn. You're giving me that look you give me like I can't get erections. What? Hey. Yeah. But since you're working against the group, I need to separate you from them. Good. Who wants to sit with a bunch of fat crybabies anyway? You are an asshole this episode, man. Pierce refuses to give back the sword. Our new goal is to find him and kill him. Nice. We're gonna get that sword back, okay? Now, is there a way of moving faster than he's moving in his cape of whatever? I guess if we had a Pegasus. If that's Ooh. sarcasm, I can't tell because everything in this game is silly. <laughs> okay, it's a crowded and rowdy evening. Beleaguered gnomes hurry to and fro with glasses of mead for the thirsty elves. Beleaguered? Why are they beleaguered? Who cares? <laughs> what the fuck? He's a gnome. He only speaks gnome. Anybody here speak gnome? Nice. I do. Lavernica does. Well, this will be painless. <laughs> Hello, my friend and brother. How can I help you, dear madam? Nice. 
Shit, I'm no better than a gnome. Yes, you are, madam. You are a human warrior, which is five species classes greater than I. That's disgusting. Don't stop it. That. Stop I am so it. Sorry, madam. Please don't report me for execution. Oh, no, no, He's no, doing no, such no, a great no, job no, as this no, troll. Or no, my bad. That's the stupid gnome where we can get a Pegasus. Did someone say Pegasus? A word I understand in every language. <laughs> okay, here's all the Dungeons and Dragons stuff I could find. My doctor said. Uh, hey, stop being. What? That's a little ridiculous. Come on. Pierce. Way to ruin game night, dude. A fun game night, too. Following the directions given to you by the gnome, you arrive at a field full of majestic pegasi. Finally. But they are guarded by a mysterious and beautiful elf maiden who seems drawn to Mar. Uh, of course, well, makes sense. Explain <laughs> that we need a Pegasus, and I, uh, I don't know. Promise to fill it up before we bring it back. <laughs> fill it up. <laughs> I, I say something sexy. Like what? Abed. Uh, excuse me. I don't normally do this, but you're the most beautiful creature I've ever seen, and I would really love a Pegasus. To <laughs> 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 me. <laughs> of course, surely. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm not really comfortable with this. My stable has a bedding of heather. Perhaps you'd be more comfortable indoors. I've been trying to look at what you're doing and understand that I don't want to. You've offended the elf maiden. She uh, seems disinterested. No. In what? All right. God on, damn it. Can we just do this? Hi. Hello. I'm Hector the Well Endowed. You've got a bunch of pegasi. Let's make a deal. What kind of deal? I take her by the hand and lead her to the stable. Uh, I light a candle and rip off a piece of my tunic, which I fashion into a blindfold. Oh, Hector, but I don't know if I. <laughs> oh. Okay, I Annie. Eyes. I slowly lay her. <laughs> what are we? Oh my! What are we? What is happening? <laughs> I I think I read the lips of the word spanking. <sighs> okay. What the fuck happened? I stroke her hair lovingly and spoon her for the appropriate amount of time before leaving. How long is that? <laughs> Troy. Be satisfied. Promises you a flock of pegasi. Oh. You guys can take a break. Neil nice just years. fucking creamed. I'm here. This guy. I need to know what you want to do next. Uh, 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 so many things, Avid. So many. I am bringing Pierce back into the room because while soaring above the forest of Ingold, you spot a body in an elven cloak in a clearing below. Ha! Oh. We got you, dummy. We land. You land safely in the wooded clearing. He's face down, barely moving, a pool of blood underneath. Something's wrong. Neil's sword. Clutched in the right hand of the body is the sword of Duquesne. Sir? It's a trap. Guys, it's a trap. Thank you, Jeff. Once Thank you, you get close enough to take the sword, you can see that this body, while definitely dying, is not Pierce. What? I turn it over. It's the gnome waiter from the tavern. <gasps> what? No. Goodbye, my friend. Oh, dude, that's crazy. My name is Kyle. Kyle, nice. <laughs> You're so bad with names. Wait, so now. Wait, what? You hear a low rumble on the other side of the tree line, followed by a shrill screech and the beating of heavy wings against the sky. Wings? Wait. What's going on? Is it more Pegasus? Draconis. The hideous Draconis. An oh all shit! Red dragon crashes through the trees into the clearing, riding atop his shoulders, How? naked as the day he was born, and controlling Draconis with the amulet is. <laughs> Say it. Pierce Hawthorne. You guys are screwed. I don't know how you guys are gonna kill a dragon. Scream when I told you to scream. Pierce Hawthorne is my master. Prepare to meet your doom. What the fuck, man? Time stop. Wait, what? Time stop. He can do that. Tons of spells. The six of you are completely frozen and helpless. This is why I wanted to play shoots and ladders. <laughs> Shut up, Troy. Cast shape change on Duquesne. Shape change. What shape do you choose for him? Fat. That's so Pierce. mean. Pierce. Stop. Make him as fat as Fat Neil. J you are Pierce. just so mean. Oh, cry. Let it out. You weren't crying when you were stealing my friends. He asked me to come here. I got some fat news for you, Fat Neil. Stop. Just, Jesus, man. Don't you know why Jeff Winger, of all people, led the charge on the fat feel good committee way over the line pierce yeah that, he is way over the line oh they're down there by fat neil that's right neil your new best friend jeff winger 
coined the name. Oh. Jeffrey! He, it wasn't, it wasn't Before meant to. Before you respond, I can make it up to you. I'll find a fatter Neil. I find, I'll find a fatter Neil. Other Neil. So call him Skinny Neil. So call him Skinny Neil. He's bald. He's black. Well, <laughs> for my turn, I feel sorry for Pierce Hawthorne. Save it. No, I really do, man. Good. For my turn, I raped the Decayne family. What the Again. fuck? Jeez. I pity Pierce. Knock it off. What's yeah, happening? You really outdid yourself this week. There's a lot of pain in you. I seriously feel bad. I feel sorry for your new fat BFF. No, do we're you... done doing that. He's gonna be fine, aren't you, Neil? Yeah. You, Pierce? I really worry about. Draconis, unfreeze time. Uh -oh. Done. You guys can move again. I breathe so much fire. I Hold it. No, you just used your move on freezing time. Yeah, it's their turn. Neil, You're fucked. I take the sword of Duquesne, and I throw it at the amulet around the sad naked man's neck. Nineteen. Doesn't even matter. Yeah! Yeah! Yes, in your face. The sword smashes the amulet, freeing Draconis from its spell. The red dragon turns his head, grabs Pierce in his mighty jaws, and swallows him alive. Nice, nice. As a reward for freeing him, he flies your intrepid band to his cavern where he bestows his treasure upon you. I hope you had a good time. That was great. That was Excelsior. really great. Excelsior. Nice. Hey. That was the best game I ever played in my life. Don't mention it. Want to play again next week? Should. You should. Maybe. Okay. Neil's really nice. I love Neil. How could you possibly want giant ears over a tail? If you had a tail, people could always tell when you're happy. Yes, That's true. Giant ears, you could hear things from miles away. And true. you wear backpacks as earrings, which would free up your hands. Backpacks already free up your hands. Guys, what do you think? Who are these oh. lovely ladies? We thought our group was mean now. I... Tail is much better. Uh, tail is thank cool. You. All in favor of giant ears? Ears are cool, though. Ears are cool. I'm with you. Hmm. Told ya. Oh, damn. All right. Well, the more you know. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. That was... That was great. That was a, that was an amazing episode. I love that a lot. I love that so much. Um, That's kind of... It's so weird that we had a Dungeons & Dragons episode when I'm in this weird time where I'm actually starting to get interested in Dungeons & Dragons. That's so weird. That's so weird. I, I couldn't... I can't even say, like, I'm interested in Dungeons and Dragons because like I can't actually ever find myself playing just because I'm I, I don't play like games in general like board games and stuff I just don't I I just it's too much I just I'm here to have fun I'm here to just watch it hang out but um no I like I think the thing that I really really love about Dungeons and Dragons that like that I'm like knowing now like not knowing but learning is that I love the story aspect making of it like that's the one thing that I'm really really like that's really cool I, I, I just I really love the story making of the whole thing and just the choices and just like uh, just just there's so much possibility with it that I just love and like I keep harpening back on is just the story making is just really cool it's a really good storytelling device and it's just really really cool um I would love to do like a horror based one because I feel like that'd be so fun for me. If it was like, you just to make it simple for me. We had like, I don't know how that works because I know Dungeons and Dragons has its own like, you know, characters and just whatever. But like, if I were just to do my own, just whatever, you know, and just say like, you know, if we had a Terrifier one, you know, I feel like that would be interesting because you have to, you know, I feel like there's ways I could do it. I might become obsessed and think about it <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest I know while I'm editing I'm gonna be watching videos but this was great this was amazing this is definitely gonna feed into my wanting to play Dungeons & Dragons a lot more I might and it's it's kind of bad because I don't have any friends that are like nowhere near <laughs> the type to play these types of games um but I do know people that do play and I'm actually thinking of becoming their friends to play <laughs> because now I'm just very interested now, now I'm very intrigued, but yeah, I don't really have too much to say. I enjoyed this one a lot. This, this was, this is up there in my favorite community episodes. This was really, really good. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this one, do me a favor: like, subscribe, and share. It. Comment below if you enjoyed this. If you guys played Dungeons and Dragons, that'd be nice to hear. Uh, if you guys do, let me know your favorite campaign. Stop that. 
let me know your favorite campaigns or uh your characters or just whatever i, I would actually i would love to hear more about your guys dungeon dragons experiences if you guys have played i i would love that a lot that'd be really cool to hear about but uh yeah like i said i don't have too much to say uh thank you members for sponsoring today's video you're amazing i love you guys could not do this without you amazing people um but yeah stick around for the end of the video for the member shout out by the way thank you uh but yeah i'm just gonna get out of here i gotta edit all these it's getting late in the day damn all right i'll catch you guys next time peace out all right welcome to the end of the video thanks for sticking around this long you guys are amazing hopefully you guys enjoy today's video uh make sure my microphone's good i enjoyed this video a lot this was amazing i had such a great time with this one uh dungeon dragons cool love um i'm hoping to play it soon that'd be really fun maybe we could do a live stream of playing it that would be pretty cool maybe my first time that uh, might be interesting i don't know we'll see but uh yeah member shout out member shout out j dub my man hopefully you watch today's video i don't know if you watch community videos actually i'm actually not sure never paid attention to that but j dub thanks man you've been uh you've been here for such a long time you were you're one of the first members you're here for a very very long time you're amazing i love you dude uh i still have a bone to pick with you because the last live stream you said you're going to be here and you weren't me and you got issues me and you have me and you are going to have a conversation in the next live stream that you probably won't show up to you got another thing coming man <laughs> but no th thanks for sticking around this long dude you're amazing uh hopefully hopefully i would love to do a like you know eventually when the channel gets bigger and hopefully we have you know more people behind the scenes we could do like a meet and greet somewhere because that'd be a lot of fun that'd be so much fun i'd love to do that one day hopefully hopefully that'd be so cool but yeah jada you're awesome man love you dude glad you're here glad you are here but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video i, I don't know how my reaction was but i just enjoyed it i was just you know i just love hanging out with you guys love watching this shit with you guys it's so great one of my favorite things about my week but also one of the most stressful and tiring things about my week is doing this so you know but I, I i don't regret any of it do not regret any of it but yeah i'm kind of rambling here kind of waiting for you guys to click one of these videos because there's a lot here and uh they need the views so yeah i would appreciate if you guys clicked one of these but uh yeah like i said i'm rambling so i'm kind of just wasting time i'm just gonna um yeah i hopefully i want to do some green screen videos so if you guys enjoy these green screen segments i will i mean obviously it'll be different when i'm doing different types of videos but if you guys want to see more green screen videos let me know you know i would love to do more i just kind of uh you know i'm just kind of waiting to see if i uh if i can do it but yeah i'm, I'm just rambling here i'm just gonna leave but you know like i said click one of these videos there's a lot here so yeah uh uh enjoy the rest of your week guys see ya <laughs> see ya